Alleluia! Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia! Refreshed by the resurrection life we share in Christ, let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We thank you, risen Christ, for these waters where you make us new, leading us from death to life, from tears to joy. We bless you, risen Christ, that your spirit comes to us in the grace-filled waters of rebirth, like rains to our thirsting earth, like streams that revive our souls, like cups of cool water shared with strangers. Breathe your peace on your church when we hide in fear. Clothe us with your mercy and forgiveness. Send us companions on our journey as we share your life. Make us one, risen Christ. Cleanse our hearts. Shower us with life. To you be given all praise with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord Christ, good shepherd of the sheep, you seek the lost and guide us into your fold. Feed us and we shall be satisfied. Heal us and we shall be whole. Make us one with you, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. John. We know love by this, that Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts 
and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God, and we receive from him whatever we ask, because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit that he has given us. Word of God, Word of Life. Thanks be to God. Good morning, and welcome to worship on this fourth Sunday in the season of Easter. It is Good Shepherd Sunday. This morning, I had just a couple of announcements before um, we continue with worship. The first is that we'd like to celebrate David. David Carl Averly is now a baptized member of First Lutheran Church. He joins his parents, Amanda and Larry, and his grandparents, Carl and Vicki Nixon. So we celebrate with David and he'll be included in our prayers later in the service. I also wanted to remind everybody that we will be beginning in-person worship starting next Sunday, May 2nd. This is new for us. Uh, we've been in pandemic mode for the last year but we still want to keep you safe. So as we come back together in worship, come as you are comfortable coming. We'll still record the service and we will rebroadcast it on YouTube so that if you're not ready to come back, um, you want to continue watching the service on YouTube, that's just fine. But when we do come back together, we will do so social distancing and still with masks on and some other things that um, you'll read about in the newsletter and also in print on um, Sunday when you get here, if you come. So that choice is all yours. Um, the pandemic numbers are always in flux, but our congregational leadership decided now is the time to offer you the opportunity, if you like, to come back and worship together in person. Call the office, call me personally, if you have any questions at all about that. All right. This morning, our guest preacher is Mark Stuntrud. Mark is the president and CEO of Lutheran Social Services of Illinois. This is a very special organization to the heart of First Lutheran. Uh, Lutheran Social Services of Illinois, Illinois also known as LSSI, had its beginning in our Southwest Conference, starting in 1867 as an orphanage for children who lost their parents in the cholera epidemic. And so Lutheran Social, social Services has been dealing with very human and social needs for a great many years. And we're happy to welcome Mark to offer us a word of good news this morning. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Greetings from the over 2,000 staff and volunteers and the 44,000 persons with whom we share in life and service, east, west, north, south, in between throughout the state of Illinois. It is so good to be with you in worship. In our gospel, Jesus declares that he is the good shepherd. One of the seven I am statements made by Jesus in the gospel according to John. Others include, I am the bread of life, the light of the world, the door of the sheep, the way, the truth, the life, the true vine. Jesus in these I am statements is saying to us, I will sustain you in your life. I will be your guide, your light in darkness. I will protect you. I am the source of all truth and knowledge. I will be your source of life flowing in and through you. I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd who is not for hire. He freely, entirely gives of himself, who knows us and says we will know him in faith. And most amazing, Jesus states, I will lay down my life. I'm recording this in the sanctuary of the Lutheran Church of the Atonement, Barrington. Atonement, the love of God, the love of the Good Shepherd, so deep, he lays down his life for us. The ultimate act of grace and mercy in redemption, restoration, and reconciliation. And then the best, the good news. I lay down my life that I may take it up again. Our good shepherd, our redeemer lives, as we declare most Sundays in our creed, seated at the right hand of the Father and in us in the promise of the Holy Spirit. How are we to understand, to process, to live out this depth of love? The Apostle John addresses this in two texts. By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down their life for their friends. Our vision, as we are loved, we respond in love. As we are filled, it overflows to others. In faith, in love with the Good Shepherd, this is how I have experienced the Lutheran Church and social ministry. Long ago, Lutherans went beyond the walls of their congregations, building in community. Higher education, 27 universities, seven seminaries, 2,000 schools, mostly preschool, over 300 social ministries, including health care, long-term care, social and human services, outdoor ministries, and congregation-based outreach. Lutheran Social Services of Illinois has been in ministry for 154 years. Our mission, responding to the gospel, LSSI brings healing, justice, and wholeness to people and communities. This mission, developed years ago, is now more prevalent and powerful than ever. Our work includes five service groups, mostly at income levels that are just above or well below poverty level, including mental health and substance use, residential, hospital-based, outpatient, community and home services, children at risk of or have been placed in foster care as a result of abuse and neglect, affordable, supportive senior living and home care, care for persons with intellectual and developmental disabilities, re-entry and prison-based ministries. And throughout the past five years, our vision has been to strive for greater impact. There is growing evidence that in health, human services, social services, that greater impact can be realized in taking a whole person view and growing as a generative organization, we believe this is to be Christ. Jesus views us in our wholeness. We should strive to do the same. Our good shepherd knows us. As we have taken this view has opened our eyes to the need of others, we see the ecosystem of supports that surround people, 
are basically inadequate, that there needs to be developed a coordination of care that connects people to the supports they require. Never has this been more evident than in the midst of a pandemic. Yet at the same time, we have been able to grow our services in ways that provide greater benefit. Building the ecosystem of supports and coordination of care that address expanded daily living benefit and support, life support. Our services go beyond symptom reduction, crisis management or safety. We view a person as more than the sum of their crisis, behaviors or diagnosis. Our vision is to go beyond respect and promote personal dignity. And at the core of this is equity, diversity, and inclusion. Our vision is to provide greater health and well being. Our vision is to build lives in reaching full potential, realizing hopes and dreams. We have been actively retooling and training our organization. It has been a transformational effort of love. As church, synods, congregations, members, your support has made this possible. Your gifts have provided the investment in our movement to be transformed as a generative organization, to be to others, as the Good Shepherd is to us. Amen. Savior, like a shepherd, Alive in the risen Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit, we bring our prayers before God who promises to hear us and answer in steadfast love. Loving Shepherd, you know your own and your own know you. Your voice calls us to your loving embrace. Strengthen your church throughout the world that we bear witness to your expansive love. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Gracious Shepherd, you are generous with the gifts of goodness and mercy. Restore your creation to wholeness so that cities and towns, countryside and wilderness may abound with life. 
Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Hope giving shepherd, the nations and peoples are your heritage. Place into the hearts of all leaders and rulers the passion to serve. Crucify any desire to overpower others and give leaders joy in lifting up the lowly. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Abiding Shepherd, your love flows as we reach out to those around us. Move us with your spirit so that we lay down our lives for those in need. Help us love one another in truth and action. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Abiding Shepherd, we give you thanks for the new life you give us in Christ Jesus through the sacrament of holy baptism. Continue to bless young David as he grows into all your baptismal grace and blessings. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Saving Shepherd, you restore us to wholeness. Help our community in our life together and give us vigor as a people of faith. In the midst of challenges and opportunities, fill us anew with your Holy Spirit. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Eternal Shepherd, you hold us securely in your loving hands. In the assurance of resurrection hope, we remember our loved ones who have died in you. Bring us with them to dwell in your house forever. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. O God of justice and love, we give thanks to you that you illumine our way through life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need Awaken us to the needs of others, and at the end, bring all the world to your feast. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. In the hope of new life in Christ, we raise our prayers to you, trusting in your never-ending goodness and mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gathered by the Holy Spirit, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God grant you a spirit of wisdom to know and to love the risen Lord Jesus. The God of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Go in peace. Share the good news. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Mm -hmm.